So, First Love is the Revolution is... It's a love story. And a love story between two outsiders, two animals who don't quite fit in with their... Um, with where they come from. It's about a boy called Basti who meets this young fox called Radicha and they're just irresistible with each other and it changes both their lives completely and it changes the lives of the foxes and moles and humans around them and it's it goes into territory about fathers and sons and mothers and daughters and mothers and sons and violence and doing what you want and being true to your nature. I don't know why I wrote Interspecies. A, a little bit because I, um, I just moved to London and I felt like I couldn't speak British English. I, um, I felt like every exchange there was something being said that I wasn't quite understanding and, um, and there were lots of pauses all the time. And so I, um, I, I kind of felt badly equipped to write a, a play of British speakers. And so, because I was also taking lots of long walks by myself and thinking a lot and seeing lots of foxes and, that, and kind of wowed by the fact that there were these wild animals walking through the streets in such a civilised city. But I also had read this, um, this essay by Derrida where he was talking about how this um, cat came in <laughs> every day when he took his clothes off and um, the cat would just kind of look, at, look him up and down and um, it's, it sent him into this whole existential spiral where he was going, you know, am I dehumanising myself by projecting sexuality into the cat or, you know, the, the, the cat's intent, looking at me, what's it seeing, why am I self-conscious, you know, what's my whole experience of this? And so I was, I was quite fascinated by that as well. And then there was this particular conflict that I was trying to... I, I knew where I sat with it, but I, um, I also found it so irrational and it, I found it so um, disheartening and I just didn't know how to process it and every so often something in the news hits you and it's like you can't shake it off. And so I was interested in how we dehumanise each other and use that as an excuse for violence as well. Basti is the main human, he's the boy, and I, I love Basti, he's, um, he's 14, he's, he's one of those boys who, um, who doesn't smell right to other kids, so he's bullied at school quite badly, and he hasn't ever really found his place. He had a very close relationship with his mum, but his mum's away for various reasons and he's got a dad who's his, his, his dad's a complicated guy. I, I like him a lot as a character but um, he's not the best dad. Um, and Basti meets Radicha when he's setting up traps outside his garden because he's got this idea that he wants to make a fox stole for his mum, he found out how to make it on the internet, very simple. Um, and so he meets this little fox called Radicha, who's like a 14 year old girl. And, but she's got a kind of, a particular streak that makes her feel, like I guess all 14 year olds feel, that they don't quite, they don't belong anywhere. It's like they f they're feeling all the darkness in inside themselves for the first time and 
then the rest of the world makes no sense. And they they both have that a bit and and then they make something explosive together.